Welcome to another amazing five minute auto pairing. So, uh, fish puppy, and see what happens here. 1947. It's Owen's defense, I think. Something like that. Owen's defense. I have to be a bit worried about this knight b4 business. Uh, maybe knight takes d4. Or just, what about bishop? Just bishop e2. Uh, do it anyway. Just bishop here. This, no, that would be terrible. I think going to c2 is not such a big deal if I castle rook c8, knight c2. Shouldn't be such a big deal, I hope. Hmm, is it dangerous? Possession a knight of six, e5, he gets that d5 square. Might get some dark square grip. Uh, so, for example, a3 and then knight c4, some dark square grip. Oh, interesting. Okay, um, let's play Queenie one. Knight d3 is a bit of a pain. So, okay, I'll accept that. If he wants to exchange queens. d5 here. Try and blunt this bishop. Liberate my pieces a bit. <coughs> Six. I don't think knight c4 particularly. Mind you, this pawn could be a goner. Uh, b5. Let's go on b5. Panic. Knight a5. His king's sort of in the centre. Maybe bishop d3 for rookie one. That pawn could be useful for a moment. Or bishop f4. Just bishop f4, try and reinforce the pawn. Is it an asset or is it a liability? There's pawn on d6. Um. Oh, okay, I'll protect it for a moment. <clears throat> that does actually mean bishop d3 without losing d6. Aha. Uh -huh. Cunning. f6 looks a bit of an, a weakening move. If he's going to really play that. And he is going to really play that. Knight d4. Bishop c3 does knight f4. Uh g4 f takes g takes f h5 or something and like f4 if i play just bishop g3 or bishop c3 let's go with, let's go with this knight f4 bishop f1 was that too dangerous bishop f3 i've got rookie one on the cards Although taking a knight h4 is probably a pain. Uh, I'll throw this check in. Actually, because bishop a5 could be dangerous. All this diagonal here. So knight, knight a5. Or knight e3. So if bishop takes knight takes f5, actually knight e3. Mind you, knight takes d6. That's rook d1 with pressure. Uh, but he's on f3. Can I get away from this f3, knight d4? So I'm hitting b5. And g3 without being mated to knight h3 at the moment. Uh, maybe 
we'll just get rid of his light sky bishop. Knight f5. Okay. Pawn down, actually. So, is there any compensation? Bishop h3, that might be a bit of compensation. So he's got some pressure to address. How? 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 Just like that. Like knight f5, I suppose, doesn't do anything. I guess I need to take it. Seem that clear. It looks as I'm just a pawn down uh, for a moment. Anything constructive with these rocks? E6 is a nice square at the moment, almost. <clears throat> that was rookie three, double. Plays rookie eight. And what? Mm. He's got the two bishops. He's controlling position quite well. Um. Mm. C4 is actually a tactical threat almost against this bishop. It's a bit naughty. C4 I've just realised. What do you see that? No, he hasn't. So C4. Yeah, it might be worth doing. Naughty. Unexpected. I think he, he felt that was being clamped down on intuitively, but uh, yeah, loose piece over here. Maybe that was the, that's the Achilles heel practically in this game, if this works. That loose piece on A3. Right, this opens up things like. No, there's pins. Pretty annoying, but he's only got 15 seconds. But uh, yeah, does he just use this pin? Ah. Uh, well, I can protect this this rook now. His pawn's dangerous. I attack this rook over here. On knight c6. Now. How does he defend that pawn? It's not. Get rid of this guy. Check. Yeah. I think that was an interesting opening uh, by him. Did I do this wrong? C takes, C takes, knight e4. The engine suggests bishop b1. What about bishop a6? That's what I was worried about. a3. And if here, b4. Why is this significant? I wonder. Oh, maybe queen a4 is on the cards. Yeah, queen a4. Maybe it's not so dangerous. Aha, so if that's the case, knight d3. Check. This looks good, doesn't it? For white. Or is it not? I mean, f for him. Yeah, it's equal there. So, I don't know. What I played was okay, perhaps. Yeah, A3. D5, yeah. Oh, did I do this wrong? Hang on, D5. So he took. Yeah, I took. Oh. Apparently Knight C4. Now, if Knight takes D5... Knight d4, I guess there's bishop f3, that's dangerous. So here, bishop f3. Yeah, it looks it looks like a dangerous pin. Yeah. So this was uh bishop e5. Knight d4, I was thinking about something like this. Knight d4 hits h5. So taking Check. 
Knight takes. Yeah, this this is this is looking very dangerous for Black indeed. Oh, that would have been so attractive. <laughs> I passed up that Knight D4. What does what does White actually, what does Black actually do instead? Because for the moment, the Bishop's stopping F4. If Knight takes, just take on H5. Check. And if here, Bishop takes F6. Wow. Ah, that was a really good move. Oh dear. And now Black's actually check. Better. A little bit almost. Yeah. Oh, so there's some opportunities there for some interesting. Oh, there's another one here, knight C two on the loose piece. Just if I take your first take on A three there's immediate loose piece issue, knight C two. And now black's better black's better here. And he misses the uh apparently this is this is not a problem with bishop takes. Well wow. Rook D six. I thought this this pin was a problem. Rook D six. I'm not getting out of the pin. <laughs> Funny enough. So this this is better for black. Yeah, he's getting his piece back. Oh dear. Some disasters and stuff behind the scenes there. Oh well. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.